Hey guys, I'm back with another episode of Cooking for Kyle, and today I'm going to show you one of Kyle's all-time favorite breakfast meals. It's something that we do all the time on game days. It's a big, hearty breakfast. I think you'll enjoy it. And as we transition away from the cereals and the breads and the grains, um, there's a couple foods that I've mentioned before that I'll use occasionally, um, and one of those foods is steel cut oats. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to show you how I cook uh, his Irish steel cut oats. So come on over here to, uh, uh, I have one cup of boiling water. And all I do is I throw a half a cup of steel cut oats in that. And I just let it let it boil. Once it hits a boil, I'll turn the water down to a, to a, a low or kind of a simmer and stir it up occasionally. So as the uh, steel cut oats are cooking, it takes about 20 minutes. You want to stir them occasionally, as I mentioned. And what I'll do next is I'll lay the bacon in a pan like this. Make sure it can lay um, all the way across. All I do is I put a touch of uh, black pepper. One good option for bacon from Whole Foods is this uh, uncured center cut smokehouse bacon. It's lower sodium. Um, some people have access to good um, grass fed meats and uh, pork from a farm. That's the best option. The second best option would be something like this from Whole Foods. So I have the burner going. I'm going to throw the bacon on right here, put a, put a lid on that guy, and I'll flip those one time. Again, take a look at the steel cut oats. The water is slowly, uh, kind of slowly being cooked into the oats. You'll know they're ready when the water is completely gone, and then I'll, I'll stop them. So as I'm uh, letting the bacon go and the oats, the last piece is uh, the eggs. I'm going to cook them over easy. And so here I have organic uh, cage-free brown eggs. These are actually from Trader Joe's. Um, and so I'm going to do three eggs. All you do is uh, crack them and let them go. This pan has a touch of olive oil into them, into it, excuse me. These are good eggs, and so they're a little bit harder to break. So I'm going to do three eggs on top just like that. And once I have all three eggs in there, I'm going to add a touch of black pepper and a touch of sea salt. So the eggs are going. I got a little bit of black pepper. And next, I'm going to add some all natural sea salt. Again, we talked about this before. But if your sea salt doesn't have like a pinkish color like that, it's not real. Um, if it's white, um, the minerals have been stripped. So make sure, if you're using a sea salt, make sure that it has a little bit of a pinkish color. So I'm doing just a touch of, of sea salt, a touch of pepper. These eggs only take about three or four minutes to cook. As soon as um, they look like they're, they're about hard on the bottom, I'm going to flip them one time. So I'll be right back. All right, so we're right back here. These eggs are ready to flip. They're, they're cooked on the bottom. I'm just going to flip them one time just like that. And then I will actually turn the burner off. Let them, let them post cook like that for about a minute or two. The oatmeal right here is finished. You can see it's, it's got a good texture. It's, uh, most of the water is completely gone. So that's finished. I'm going to let that sit. The bacon needs a couple more minutes before we flip that. It's a great meal, super easy to make. Uh, try it at home and let me know what you think. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, post comments on my blog or on my wall on my Facebook fan page. I'd be happy to answer your questions, and I look forward to bringing you more meals cooking with Kyle very soon.